Hi, I'm Matt Trusella. Welcome back. Today we're going to do artichoke appetizers. A lot of people shy away from these too because they just don't know quite what to do with them. We're going to trim them up first. After we trim them, we're going to boil them for about 20-25 minutes until they start to get a little soft. I'll take them out. We will cut them in half. We'll clear out the spiky part in the middle and then we're going to throw them on a grill inside here. To complement the artichoke, we're going to use some simple stuff. Just roasted garlic, a little bit of olive oil, mayonnaise, some lemon juice, and some fresh chopped basil to make a lemon basil aioli. To season them, I'm going to use that lemon juice. I'll use the olive oil, salt, pepper, and I do like dill. You know I like dill. Um, and it's one of my favorite flavors to complement a lot of green veggies like this and asparagus. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, pick out your artichokes. I like the stalk to be a little long, but I'm not real fond of the extra ugly pieces there on the bottom. So you just kind of get those off. This is actually, you can eat this once it softens up. But you also have to be sensitive to how deep your water is. So you can't go too far. So I'll chop that off there. Take off that yucky bottom. Throw that over there. And then the next thing is take the top. Artichokes have little spikes right inside there. They're actually part of the yucca cactus family. So I'm going to take off a good top of this. And you have to use a little sawing motion. You can use this kind of knife, or you can kind of rotate around. Take all this off. Get those tips off of there. The heart is, in the, is the best part of this. That's deep inside. You won't be able to reveal that until after we're done. And when we get down to the middle, I'll point it out to you. But that's the part most people go for first. We've taken the top off. We'll grab some snippers and then just kind of go around and take the little spiky part off. So that when you grab these, you don't get stuck by a little cactus. Take them all off. These take more time to prep, but they also take a long time to eat. Because the way we're going to eat these is remove one leaf at a time and then with our top teeth kind of scrape off the soft part that remains on the lower portion of each leaf. Artichokes do have some redeeming health value. I like most green leafy vegetables. These are a great appetizer for family to come over. They do, like I say, go with a lot of dipping sauces. I kind of like the uh, mayonnaise-based aiolis. My wife prefers just olive oil. You can even just use lemon juice or melted butter. And I'm going to make these look a little pretty, so I go around and take a little trim off each one. And that's about all you need to do. As you can tell, all the little ends are taken off. You can take that one little bottom one off. It doesn't look too good. And there it is. It's ready to go in the water. I'm going to do the rest of these and throw them in the water. And like I said, about 20, 25 minutes. So we'll be right back after that gets done. Okay, we're back. We're going to boil these for a little while. As I said before, we gave them a little haircut, took off the top. There is no redeeming nutritional value or anything to eat on the top of these. And then when we are done, we're going to peel these off one by one. You're going to find most of the nutrition kind of gathers around the heart. We're going to throw these into some hot boiling water. You can see these are, hot water is really rolling. Hopefully I have enough room for all four. Uh, I'll make sure that we cover it up too. Those go right in. We want to get them all the way down, but the most important part is the bottom part. Here's one little trick I'm going to do. Squeeze some lemon juice in there. Again, we're going to use this a lemon-based flavor. And throw that lemon right in there. So, okay, while that's cooking away, we're going to make ourselves an aioli. That's a fancy name for oil. And to do that, we take some mayonnaise. I like a full-on mayonnaise. You can. Uh, do these, it wouldn't be an aioli, but you could do something different with sour cream. There's really no right or wrong in this stuff. And this is just all flavored to taste. This is gonna be some garlic, roasted garlic. I could use granulated garlic. I could use, you know, regular powdered garlic if you want. I like the roasted flavor. That's gonna go in there. A little bit of olive oil to start. I'm not sure how much. I do want that extra virgin olive oil flavor. So I'll put that in there. And I've got my lemon. I can squeeze some of that. Sometimes I do like this. I've also shown you that you could do a this way. If you don't feel comfortable squeezing it through, you can always use a strainer to catch the lemon juice. Well, I've got a seed or two in there. And then a little bit of pepper. And a little salt. 
We're going to use the same salt and pepper and dill on the actual thing itself. And I have some fresh chopped basil. Got this out of the front of my yard. Throw that in there. And we're just going to stir it up until all those liquids kind of get together. Now, the truth is, we're doing this, you know, real time. But this would actually be better if we did this a couple days ago. Because then those flavors are all going to just come together and kind of seep into each other. And we're going to stir it back up till it gets nice and creamy and smooth again. Got those chunks of garlic in there. Again, it's great to have dipping sauces for your asparagus. This is also really good um, you could, on a roast beef sandwich or something else. You could add some sun-dried tomato to it. You could do a southwestern instead of basil. And lemon, you could use lime and cilantro. So we got ourselves a little... Hey, only there. I'm going to taste it and see where it's at. It's really, really tasty. So that's got that flavor of the roasted garlic, olive oil, lemon, basil. How can you go wrong with that? So. We're going to let that sit there and gain flavor. We're going to let our artichokes boil when they get ready. We're going to cut them in half, clean the center out of them, and throw them on this inside grill here tonight. Um, like I said, outside grill is great, but you can also do an inside grill in case you don't have one, or just in case it's not pleasant weather outside that you want to go grill in. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been a little over 20 minutes. Uh, I had these covered. I periodically took the, the top off. You can smell again, much like when we blanched asparagus, you can smell the asparagus. You can actually smell the artichoke here. It's got that nice kind of buttery smell to it. A little bit of lemon from the lemon water. I'm going to put it over here in the sink. I'm going to dump some of this water out. They're going to keep cooking because you can tell they're really hot. They've started to separate a little bit. I don't want to touch those with my hand, but they started to separate a little bit. Get that steam off my glasses for a minute. If you looked at them, you can see how they started to separate apart a little bit. You want to get in closer and take a look at this. You can see how the tops kind of separated. The leaves begin to separate a little bit from the, they are just tightly knit together as they were. That means they're starting to get done. So we're going to let those cool off, put some cold water on them. Got the hot water off. Put some cool water on them. Let them cool down and then I'm going to cut them in half lengthwise. And we're going to put them on the grill after that. Okay. Well, we've got our aioli. It's been sitting there for a while. It's looking good. Put a little decorative basil on top just while we get it ready to dip. I squeezed some lemon juice from my wife. I got some olive oil there. I've got some butter. Uh, we're going to drain these off. They've been sit sitting in some cool water. The way to do it is turn them upside down like that. Let them sit on the top like that. Let some of that water come out. Shake it out. As you can tell, I can handle it. I actually can feel the water still pretty hot. This should be good enough to cut. You can see how this has gone translucent, which means it's ready to cut. It's actually almost edible as it is, but we want to give it a little grill to make it taste even better yet. So we're going to drain that off. Okay, I'm going to have to do all of these, though, so that's going to take me a little bit. I'm not going to bore you with that, but I'm going to show you how to do one of the insides as we get it ready to grill. We take this with a good sharp knife. We're going to come right down halfway through, okay? Look at how it's cut right there. See that? That proves it's almost done, ready to eat right now. Just come right down the middle, straight down, okay? Again, that water comes out of there, and this is the part we have to remove. Right? Some of this is actually kind of spiky in there, and this right here is what we want to get out. This is this real fibrous middle, and the way to do that is just go right along the outside of it with the knife, kind of gently take some of that out of there, okay? Once you start on it, it's going to kind of scrape right out, little by little. Get out, take it to the side. This isn't too hot to handle now, so that's nice. It's going to create a pocket in there, and I'm going to take advantage of that when I cook it. But you definitely want to get this out here, otherwise you're going to be doing the, you know, the cat cock when you're trying to eat it. It's really fibrous and hairy and just not really edible at all. So I'm getting this out of there. If you didn't take this out, you could do it later. It just takes time to do it one, way, one time or the other, but because I'm grilling it, I want it out of here now. Going all the way across, getting all that out of there. You can see where I'm at here. Got almost this all over here. Take some of these little fibers out of here. Yeah, it's kind of a tough, but 
in the end it's going to be worth it. There we go. Almost done. Last bit here. Okay. And you can see. So I got that all nice and clean in there. That's ready to go. I'm going to do the rest of these. We're going to put our seasonings on them. And then we're going to put them on the grill inside, okay? All right, well, we've got all the hearts cleaned out, so you can see all that fibrous material is gone off, each, off of each one of these things. Uh, they look ready to go. I'm going to season them up a little bit, and we're going to put them on the grill. There's not a lot of room on this, so I'll probably only be able to do two at a time just to show you. If I had a big char grill, we could put them all on at the same time. Um, I'm going to use a little olive oil on these. Actually, it might be good to brush them. Let me grab a brush out of here and do that. Just give them a, br a little brush with olive oil. So we keep them from sticking a little bit. It's going to bring the heat up. Actually, oil makes your grill even hotter, by the way. Brush those all the way across. Don't be afraid of the olive oil. Lots of omega-3s and good for your arteries. Okay. That down there for just a second. Like I said, salt. Just a little bit. Not too much. Can always add more. Can't go away. Black pepper. I like mine coarse ground. I like to see it. Lemon juice. Just a few drops here and there. All right, we're going to throw it on the grill. This is set on the panini, so I got hot on this side and on that side. Put it right on there. You can hear that puppy sizzle. I could probably do two of them at a time. That sounds good, doesn't it? And let's cover the top. Now again, these were ready to eat. I could have eaten this like it is. This is already soft enough inside the heart. But this is going to give it a little flavor, a little grill flavor too. So this is a way to bring it up to temperature a little bit more, finish it off, uh, dip it in aioli, and have some delicious artichoke appetizers. So we're just minutes away. I'll finish these off. And then I'll do these and we'll present it to you so you can see how it looks as a finished product, OK? All right, these have been cooking for a while. You can tell they're hot, but you know, unfortunately, they're not turning out quite like I'd hoped with regard to the markings. They're definitely getting warm. You know, a little bit of grill mark, but not quite like I wanted. That's okay. They're still turning hot. They still smell great. I'm going to do a little something different. We'll turn them around and finish them off. Let me get those tongs, because these are definitely getting a little warm for my hands. But there we go. And the last one over here. Get a nice sizzle to them. They do smell great. I'm going to do a secret ingredient, just a touch of this. This is agave nectar, not too much. Uh, I like to add a little sweet, just a little bit, especially when I use the acid of the lemon, because that kind of sets off that lemon flavor. Here's one more thing I'm going to do. Ready? This is the heart. This is what we wanted here. Put a little butter right there. Make a nice little butter pocket. All right, now I'm going to throw those back on one more time. Let that sit just about five more minutes, and those are going to be done and good to go. All right, we're ready to take our last batch off. We finally got some grill marks on there. That agave and butter kind of helped us get that caramelization color we wanted. These are definitely warm. Not too hot that you can't grab it if you're brave. There's there. Let's turn that off. I told you I like dill, and I love dill with green vegetables, especially asparagus and a little bit of artichokes. So just a touch of that to set it off. Again, people love that flavor. They go, what is that sometimes? They don't know. A little bit of dill. Dill's really great on asparagus, artichokes, most vegetables, and fish. It's really popular on fish, and even eggs. A little bit of that. Take the rest around. 
want your plate to look pretty, you can kind of shake some pepper around it. All right, now the one thing about artichokes is you have to be patient because the best part is the heart and that's all the way back in here. So you've got to work your way throughout all these leaves till you finally get to the last piece and then you have that nice big chunk of artichoke heart. So I'm going to take one of these. As you can tell, these are, you take them off, they peel off. That's how you can tell they're done. What you're going to want to eat is this part right here. And you do that by, this is all the meat and you kind of dip it in your aioli. Scrape it off with your teeth and that's how you eat that. Now you peel it one by one. Keep going right after it. You can eat all that. If you want to take it apart, each time you get closer to the middle, you get more and more meat. Mm. Delicious. All the way down, get them all the way apart. And we're going to get to the heart. I kind of like this bite too. I want to watch out for those little purple guys. I do this one like this. But this is the heart you want right there. Tear that apart. It was worth waiting for. Yum. Artichoke hearts and artichoke appetizers. Thanks for watching Cooking with Matt. We'll see you again.